Welcome to the Tech for Lecturers YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can convert Word documents into accessible formats when you're teaching students that might be visually impaired. This will be done using the free Dolphin Converter. Take note, this is only free for developing nations and you would need to sign up for you to get an account. If you're from a developed country, you can go and purchase Easy Converter, the pro version, on this site. The links will be provided below this video. Now let me demonstrate how this works. You'll need to start by downloading it for free. When you click on download for free, you will be directed to a page where you will have to select the language, enter your name and the email address that you want to use to create an account. Then you submit. Once you've done so, they'll give you an account and you'll also get a download link. Now, once you've downloaded and installed, I will not walk you through that process. I will go to Microsoft Word. And in here, I have a random document. This is text that does not make any sense. I just randomly generated it with Microsoft Word. And over to the top right, you can see I now have an icon, Convert To, with the Dolphin logo. So if I wanted to convert this document into an accessible format, I'll just click on that little tab. And you can see I can convert it to a DAISY order talking book. I can convert it to an mp3 file. I can also convert it to braille. Then you can print it out with an embosser. You can also convert this to large print. Then of course, if you want more features, there's the upgrade button. But I'm only going to show you how you can convert this document into an audio file quickly. So I'll click on mp3. This will load up a dialog where you can choose the voice that you want to use. This will use the voices that are installed on your system. If you want a tutorial on how you can add more voices, please let me know. But you can see here I have Microsoft David Desktop, that's the male, and I also have Microsoft Zero, which is the female. So you can choose whichever voice you want. I'll go with Microsoft David. Then you can choose the output folder where you want the file to be saved. If you want to change it, you can just click on Browse. And if everything's all right, just click on Start. This will take a variable amount of time depending on how big your file is. Mine is a very short file, only two pages long, so it shouldn't take much time. There we go. Once the conversion is complete, you can click on show location to be able to open the mp3 file that you created. There we go. Here is my mp3 file and I can play a clip for you just so that you can hear what this sounds like. Video provides a powerful way to help you prove your point. When you click on line video, you can paste in the embed code for the video you want to add. Right, so that's what it will sound like. If you would want students to access more natural sound and sound voices, you can always purchase this at other sites. I'll provide links in the description below. I hope this has been a useful tutorial. Please click like if you like this. Comment below and give me your feedback. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and share it with one lecturer who you feel might benefit from the videos in this channel. Be blessed.